Okay, I got the controller fully mounted into the frame. It's, I only got uh, two bolts holding it in right now, but there are four mount points and it's solid. It's clear of everything. I got a lot of stills on that and I'll show you. We got it all wired up. Uh, just temporary. You can see the wires are kind of just dangling down there. And um, I have the battery off my Kawasaki, which is 72 volt. Uh, it's only 200 amps. But uh, and on this side, I have a master cutoff going to it, which we'll probably have mounted on top of the gas tank uh, in the end product. But all the cables are hooked up and um, throttle and power on switches are there. So I'm going to throw the power on switch, but at the same moment you look at the controller, you'll see a red light come on. And that means the controller is now powered. Okay, the power to the controller is there. Okay, back up here to the throttle. We turn the handle and you'll hear the noise. Gen braking is pretty solid on this thing, it's the 15 percenter. So, anyway, basically, we have a sort of working bike, it's getting closer, and uh, we'll keep you posted. I got the batteries coming next week, we'll get started on that. Here's your voltmeter that uh, came with the, this device, this bike, and uh, you can see it's a 1.2 volts telling you your voltage, which is kind of nice and clean little deal. Put the tape back on there so it doesn't get scratched, and uh, we'll continue. Just let you know it's she be working. Let me let me check one other thing here. This is mode one. Okay, mode two. Okay, it works. And mode three. Yep, they all three work. Frank tested them today out at uh, Hollister and he found out mode one on the 200 amp model here, which is this one, but I think it's still RPM limited. It's uh it got up to 37 miles an hour. The mode two got up to 47 miles an hour and mode three got up to 53 miles an hour. So anyway, just some info and we're moving right along.